Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. A little bit of a different one today because, as you might be able to tell from the suitcases in the back, we're travelling home. We're heading back to the UK. We're leaving Sweden for now. Bit of a long trip ahead of us, Franks. Very long trip. Well, it's not too bad. We're going from Lulia, a town near Petia, down to Stockholm this evening. Staying over in Stockholm Airport, early flight from Stockholm to Copenhagen, and then Copenhagen to Manchester. We're going to bring you guys along, and then in the second part of this vlog, we're going to be doing a giveaway to say thank you very much for all your support in this incredible series so far. Give you guys a chance to win some pretty cool prizes. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like helps us out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get traveling back home. Stop one, Lulia Airport, 6 p.m. Not much else to say, just that we're on the first leg of the journey. We managed to get all our suitcases through without being over the limit, which is probably the first time that's ever and happened also, may I just point out, in all our travels. My bags weren't the heaviest for once. No, they yours. weren't, which is a minor miracle. We now have an hour and a half wait until the flight, so maybe Uno. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> that was quite good for you. Thanks. Right, no. <laughs> so we've arrived in Stockholm at Stockholm Airport. What we hope is going to happen is that, that our bags will go from Lulia to Stockholm and then they'll stay somewhere in the magic maze of the airport and then get put on our flight tomorrow morning to Copenhagen and then make it on the flight to Manchester. But just to be sure, we're hanging around the baggage carousel <laughs> just to check that they're not on there because that would be very annoying. And once, hopefully, we've seen that the bags are okay, we're going to go and find our little airport hotel for the next six I hours. The hotel's putting it quite nicely. <laughs> our little place to lay our head. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Might so that should off. be interesting. <laughs> right, we have arrived at the place where we're staying this evening for a few hours before the final, well, before the flight to Copenhagen. Let's have a look. <laughs> You're having the top bunk? Shh, okay. top bunk. <laughs> oh, I can finally take this off, but yeah. This is us for the night. Got my dinner of a protein bar and a banana. So Sparkling right water for Franks. The light option. <laughs> so it's 20 past 10. We're gonna get up at four. So we will speak to you in the morning. And boom, 20 past four. On the road again. Are we ready, Franks? Yeah. The last stage. Lunchtime in Copenhagen Airport. I say lunchtime, it's five past ten in the morning, but when you start your day at 4 a.m., ten is lunchtime. So we've gone for the margarita pizza. One flight left. We're nearly back. Yeah. And we're back, 
trip completed, bags found most importantly, but the full journey from Sweden, all done. Time to have a proper shower <laughs> and a sleep. <laughs> Anyway, I will speak to you guys once everything is settled and we're planning and we know what's happening with training, etc. And we'll get on with the giveaway as well. Speak to you later on. Good morning. Slightly different to the snow of Sweden, but nice to be back home. The plan was to try and come down and do just a little bit of ball work, a little bit of distribution, just as a bit of a loosener, get back into it. But in typical Northwest England fashion, it's raining. I'm not sure how much of the session I'm gonna be able to film. But I'll try and show you a little bit of what I'm gonna do. In general, a very light session, bit of stretching, bit of jogging, bit of ball work and then maybe a little bit of distribution kick in side volleys that kind of thing <laughs> So, good session, over and done with, a little bit soggy, but managed to get a little bit of distribution work in, a little bit of ball work in, which is what I was aiming for. Unfortunately, the UK government has announced a second lockdown. Typical that I arrived back from Scandinavia, where everything is much more open, the day before that lockdown 2.0 was announced, but oh well, we deal with it. What that does mean is 
I will probably have to go back to a lot more of the individual based sessions that I was doing from kind of March through to June. As always, I will be showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more over on the Keeping Goals Facebook group where I'll probably explain each day the sessions that I'm doing in order to help you guys if you want to design your own individual training program, especially for those of you who are stuck in lockdown for at least the next month. But we've been here before, we've been through it, we kept working, we even got better during that lockdown. A lot of the success that I've had this season, I think has definitely come from the work that I did during that period. So another lockdown is just another excuse to put in that work, another reason to keep getting better when others might stop. So I will be sharing with you guys the training that I'm gonna be doing. It will hopefully help you, it will hopefully help me, and we can smash through another lockdown and we will keep progressing and keep getting better as goalkeepers, which is always the aim. But I'm gonna head back home now, have a shower, warm up a little bit, and then speak to you guys about the giveaway. And we're back, warm, showered, and ready to do a giveaway. So, as I said at the beginning of today's vlog, me and Johnny, we wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys for the incredible support that you've shown us, especially in this season, season four of Keeping Goals. We really enjoyed showing you everything that went on in Sweden, and it was amazing that you guys enjoyed it so much, but the continual comments, messages, everything that you sent us with all your support meant a huge amount in getting us to have such a successful season, both on and off the pitch. So as a thank you, we've got a bit of a giveaway. There are three prizes to be won in today's giveaway. Prize number one. Third prize, we have a Calia glove bag. A Calia glove towel, which can also be won. So, third prize will be Calia glove bag with a Calia glove towel. For those of you that haven't seen the Calia glove towels, quite easy. You can even clip them on the back of the net if you need to. And works very well in obviously keeping your gloves dry. Prize number two is a pair of brand new Calia extension cut size nine gloves. I'm not sure that these gloves are even sold anymore by Calia. I haven't worn these, they still have the plastic on the palm. It's a lovely colorway, big fan of the black and white with the very unique cut of the extension cut which adds that little bit extra to the gloves. Size nine, as I said, brand new. You can use them for games if you want, I can sign them, whatever you want, but second prize, pair of the extension cut, size nine, Cali books. And finally, the final prize, prize number one, we have a pair of Adidas coppers, size nine, UK, unworn, brand spanking new, really, really nice. I would wear them myself, but I am pretty loyal to Tiempos, so one of you guys will win coppers white and green a very very beautiful pair of boots so those are your prizes boots gloves glove towel and glove bag all you have to do to win one of these three prizes i'll be picking three individual winners the rules for the giveaway are subscribe to the channel like this video and comment down below your favorite moment of keeping goals series four so far and for a bonus entry you can make an Instagram story from watching this video, tag me, put hashtag keeping goals, and that will give you a bonus entry into the giveaway. But that's it for today's episode of Keeping Goals. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you enter into the giveaway. This week's patron of the week is Christian Jarlsberg. Christian, thank you very much for your support. Me and Johnny wouldn't be able to do what we do with Keeping Goals without it. So as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goals shout out. If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning Patreon of the Week, like Christian, and also receiving lots of other bonus content exclusively for patrons, you can sign up to the Patreon page with the link below this video. But thank you very much for watching, guys. The winners of the giveaway will be announced in next week's episode of Keeping Goals, so make sure you get entered once again. But I will see you next week, 11 a.m. UK time, as always, for the next episode of Keeping Goals. Have a great week. Keep chasing improvement, as always. Stay safe and I'll speak to you in a bit.